Welcome back to Mango Plays Ridgeside Village. And today we have salmonberry season. There will be rain tomorrow. It is Trini's birthday and it's a feeling lucky kind of day, which is pretty awesome because I've got some plans. Now, in the previous episode, we managed to get 50 spiritual essence. So I want to get up to the ridge and oh, apparently I need an extra bait. And the phone is ringing. Hello. Oh, hello, Philip. How are you doing? Oh, my shoulder, shoulders are sore. Oh, I've been doing a lot of one-man transfers and lifts these last few days. Guess I've got to take my own advice and remember to stretch. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, well, good. I'm glad you are going to take your own advice and look after yourself. Right, let's um, do my chores. So what was I saying? Oh, yes. I am going to tackle the ridge a bit. I very much want a new weapon and hopefully that new weapon will give me the ability to, well, tackle, tackle, are they called the Vimperians? Um, no, I don't think they are. Where's my trash? There it is. Um, tackle the, the fire breathing lizardy dudes is what I want to do and that hopefully will mean that we have the last two things, the Entombed Ring and the Golden Skull Coral. I believe come from both of those. Now, of course, we do have the Bug Quest, which we got a lucky day today, so we could try and get some of that, which I probably will do in the morning. And we still have six days for the Spring Flowers, so I'll probably put that off. Um, so I'm hoping we're going to get a load through uh, this area here, which will cover that. So, for today, let's say hello to the little chickies. How are you doing, Lily Mae? And Leo, how are you? Yeah, you're doing good. This is fantastic. And, of course, I want my eggs. Um, let's grab a bit of hay. Apparently, only one chick chick is eating. Okay, so let's head on up. Um, we're going to want to stick one of these eggs in. The brown egg, we're going to stick in the mayonnaise machine. I can, of course, sell the current mayonnaise because it's not... We're not currently work using that on a quest, so that's all right. So, let's go. We will visit Trini today, um, but I'm going to go up to the ridge in the afternoon. In the morning, I'm going to deal with um, the the bugs. I think that's that's going to be my attempt anyway. So let's go to the mines. Getting up here nice and early, which is pretty fantastic. Let's start with level twenty, and we have one bug. This is fantastic. Now I should actually grab my bug me out so that I can keep an eye on where where it is all at or what level we're at um let's leave the mine i do like with this trick actually going to 15 25 um and and then backwards and forwards between the two because you have an elevator on the floor so you can just sort of bounce between the two now if you do manage to unlock the next level down i do typically go down um <laughs> um, but yeah, so just keep bouncing between level 15 and 25 is what I've been doing at the moment. It doesn't seem to be massively working for me. It did for the first day, but I don't know if maybe Stardew Valley's like, I know this trick. I know what you're trying to do. You can't get away with it. Um, so maybe I need to actually start progressing through the floors a bit. But I'm going to spend a couple of hours just trying to get these bugs oh yes look at this now we can just keep coming back to this floor level right that, that's gonna be great hello bugs bugs me for days ah 89 bug me already remember we're trying to get to 200 in um however many days because 200 is the magic number to make the um bug stakes that we need. Now, is there... There's a bug just there. Hello. Now, I'm not worried too massively about my health. Because, you know, 
It'll be fine. So let's go back to 15. The bug level should, or the over infested level should be still on 16. So we're going to want to just progress through. Um, so we've got to find this ladder. It's worth hunting this ladder for that level. Yeah, look. Ah. Oh, ah. Oh, the farming capabilities from this. Now that does mean in tomorrow's episode, this level will be, I think, on level 17. Because it goes down a level each time. And I think that's the way it works. So we can just come back. I don't need to just farm it today. I mean, I would like to. Let's be honest. But I really, really want a better weapon. Whoops. I, I failed in the quest to kill that one. But we're over 100 bug meat. That is what I wanted to see. Let's leave the mine and actually go to Ridgeside. I don't have to panic. I have two, two rows. I forgot. Okay, I want to go Ridgeside. Let's go Ridgeside North. So I want to visit with Lola. Um, I believe um, we should get a new cutscene because we ticked over to six hearts in the previous episode. I found some vermin in the shed earlier today. Nasty little things. Well, I quite like vermin. <laughs> I asked Philip, the physical therapist, about this pain I get in my back whenever I take a step with my right foot. Oh, ready. He gave me a copy of his schedule so I can set up an appointment. What a nice guy. He is a very nice guy. Um, who else has something to say? I'll have to ask Marnie about adopting a barn cat. Or would it be a shed cat? Oh, yeah, you should get a cat. That'll be awesome. Keep me company. Be great. Okay. So. Is it in here? That I need to go. Yes. Why hello. Why hello there young mango. Lola was just preparing a meal. I think she made too much. So please pull up a chair. Oh my god. Are Freddy and Lola just so freaking cute? I love it. Thank you. I, I could do with a nice meal before I go up to the ridge. There, and done. Ah, Hi, Lola. Ugh. What's up? Dear, are you okay? Oh, Freddy. Oh, it's nothing, dear. Just a little out of breath. Here, I finished the dish. I'll bring it over. <gasps> Lola, are you okay? Ugh. No! Lola! Yes, exactly, Freddy. I love the animation, the artwork here. You can really tell that, like, Lola's fallen to her knees, at least. Ugh. She's out cold. Mango, please help me bring her to the clinic. Yes, let's go. I didn't know she was out cold. Hang on, dear. Don't worry, Freddy. Don't. You just open the doors, right? You don't carry Lola. I'll be fine. You just open the doors. Make it easy for me. Hello, is Lola okay? Lola's condition has stabilised now. Thank you, Paula. The cause was acute chest pain because of her chronic lung condition. <gasps> she couldn't handle the pain and passed out from it. Oh, Paula, no. I've administered a dose of... Uh, uh, acid... Acetylcholine? <laughs> and nitroglycerine to help relax her blood vessels. I'll inform Harvey as well as he's her doctor. She's awake now, so you may see her. Thank you so much, Paula. Oh, Lola. No, this isn't what I wanted. I I wanted to find out more about your past, Lola. Hmm, I passed out, didn't I, love? It's like that time when I fainted in our mission at Old Zuzu City. You mean Freddy was like your adventuring partner oh my god this is awesome oh i'm such a burden no you're not there there now dear i couldn't even count the times when you saved me from our own actions or from my own actions even in several of our missions oh look freddy's got a scar from his face i didn't even notice oh wow proper adventurer ah oh how i miss those days i was so worried hey love don't cry in front of the youngsters. Come here, you. I'm all fine now. Freddy has his head leaning on Lola's shoulder. Oh, my God, they're so cute. 
E, I'm sorry that my husband's such a crybaby. No, don't apologize for such things. We love Freddy. I escorted the couple back home after that. I hope everything's okay. Yes, I really do. Oh, now I wonder, is there another one? <laughs> no, and she's good, it's fine. Okay, doke. We are at one, so I think this is a um, perfect time for us to go up to the ridge. Thank you for your help earlier, Mango. And I'm sorry to be such a burden. You were not a burden, lovely. Um, I just poked the sword in Freddy's back. That's probably why he's got pain when he walks. Um, so yeah. Okay. It's a real shame that Lola's unwell. Like, I don't like it. I don't want I don't want to hear that, but it's good storytelling. So I kinda like it also at the same time. It's a difficult one. Hello, Ezekiel. The bee the beer helps with nightmares. Oh dear. Don't self-medicate, Ezekiel. Sometimes I wake up and can't go back to sleep without a cold one. Oh lovely. Okay. Right. There is one more thing I want to do before heading up to the ridge. I nearly forgot. But I did look at my notes and remembered. So Ruby did let me know that Peekers should be selling some anti-nausea med or food potentially now. Yes, ginger arugula fried rice. Good for the stomach if you're feeling under the weather. A ridgeside shake teeny. <laughs> Plus one to luck and one to speed. That's nice. Ooh, I, d I am tempted. Uh, we got the Tom Car soup. So I think if we get one of these, and I feel like getting this ahead of going in might be a good idea. But how much luck do I actually need? I mean, I do need a lot of luck. Does luck actually improve you missing getting hit? That is the question. Like your dodge rate. Because if it's just the loot tables, I'm not really fast. Because it's a lot of money. Ah, oh, let, let's do it. I I have barely bought food for myself. Like it's it's a bit of a difficult one. Right, okay. Um I want to grab my warp totem out. I'm gonna pop that there. The I'll have the ginger on the main bar. We've got our sword. I can pop away the watering can for the moment. And then, yeah, let's go to the ridge. It's half two. I'm postponing it. I shouldn't be. Geo, wish me luck. I'm going to uh, drink this shake teeny. Get the luck and the speed. Okay. And, um, yeah, let's go in. Okay. Right. So, I want to find the, at least the Falls of Sacrifice, and basically the first fall that I can find that has a weapon in it. That's what I'm after. And we checked that fall in the last um, episode, and there was no weapons in it. Might as well pick this up, considering it's in grab distance. Um... Here's a fall. Go in. And this is the bubble club. Level 30 club. It's got plus 11 speed, plus 2 defense, plus 25 crit chance, and plus 5 weight. Now, you guys have told me that um, the better weapons cost 100 spiritual essence. But for the moment, I just need a better weapon, right? So I'd rather spend the 50 to get the 100, if that makes sense. Make it easier for me. So, I mean, like, it's not massive amounts of extra damage, but that crit chance. Yeah, I'm doing it. Oh, um, I've got to hit alt thingy. And then we're going to... Nope, apparently I'm too close. I'm going to do that. Drop off our goodies. Um, and... Let's go swing it. So what we want to do is we really, really want to find um, one of the, the big dunes. Now, to be fair, the club, 
Let's see, what's the right click? <gasps> it's the get away from me button. Love it. Um, I don't know if because of the luck, I was about to say. <gasps> yes! It was a it was a one hit kill. Haha! -ha! Can I actually kill you? Oh dear. Oh wow, I managed to kill one of those. I don't think I've killed one of those before. Look at this! I can actually murder things up on the ridge. Oop. Ooh, I meant to right click to get rid of them, but um, I just picked up an arugula. Oh dear, they hit hard. Wow, look at this. It's just so impressive. Oh, and this isn't even like the best weapon, is it? Like, for sure, is not the best weapon. And I'm already super, super excited and happy about it. I, those trees, I keep thinking like they're going to give me easy um, access to a cave. Oh, I so love my new club. Like, even these dudes. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Oh, oh, I nearly got to, to, um, to whatchamacallit. Why did that not heal me? There it did. Okay, good, good. Ah, lovely. Okay, so... We're still hunting one of these fire-breathing dragony dudes. But I've not found one yet. Now, apparently, with my next combat level up, I may get um, better luck at finding them. Ooh, I've been nauseated. Yes, well, I have food for that. Ow. Aha. Go away. The knockback on this is quite bad, which is kind of funny. Nope. Oh, oh it's so lovely to actually be able to kill these things. Ah. Oh. I right, go away. I'm in the middle of murder. It's great. Whoa, hello. There's a very angry dude down. <gasps> yeah, hey. Right, okay. Let's um, see if we can take out this dude. Spam, 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 spam. Right, there we go. Okay, can I eat yet? Yeah, no. When's my nausea run out? Uh, can I find out when my nausea runs out, please? Apparently not. So, uh, let's just eat this because... I want to be nausea-free, and we'll get rid of these guys, because, you know, I can now. Right, and then, hi. Okay. Scary place for you to be. Ow! Behind. Ow. Ow. Okay, let's, uh, let's get some food in. We can just hide behind the rock here. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. It's 8.20. We've got time. Right, come on. Yes. Fire off that way. No, not at me. Right, where are you firing? Where are you firing? Fire, fire, fire. Da, 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 da. It's hot in here. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aha. Right, let's um, just... We'll wait for these guys to come and come at me. Come on, we got to do this with patience. Come on. We're already at 23 free spiritual essence. Like, how cool is that? Ouch. <gasps> we got a level up and we got both the things. Oh my god. Yes. Come on. Come on, Mango. Right, okay. Oh. <laughs> that sword, that club. No matter what was worth it, because we managed to kill that thing, and we got both of these. Which means we're going to go straight over here, and go into... Whoa! Hello? Oh, I... is this new? Kiwi is ignoring you. Do you know my heart? And... Oh, that is so cool. Right, let's go in. No! Oh, we're an hour and 50 minutes too late. Oh! But I want to hand it in. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, 
we got these two things. A golden statue replica of an extinct species of coral from the ancient era. And the entombed ring. The ring inside the gem seems to have a name engraved in it. The text Shiku can be barely read. And 25. Oh my god, we've got prehistoric tibia as well. Which uh, Gunter wants. Uh, mysterious. We've got 25 spiritual essence. That's what I was trying to say. Do you know what? I am feeling overconfident and brave. And I'm just smashing my club on the ground. Let's go and just farm spiritual essence then. Because we definitely want some of these more powerful weapons. Oh. Hello. You are no match for me. No more. Like, normally there's trails of monsters following me around because I just have not been able to kill a single one of them, right? And look at this. We we have murder going on. Although, has it gone up in difficulty? Because, like, these guys are not dying. There we go. They're dying now. It's all good. The crit chance. That's what's doing it. Ah, oh, of course, of course. This crit chance is amazing. I'm going to have to look up who the Bubble Club is from. Hopefully it won't, like, be too spoilery, if that makes sense. Because that's my worry when I'm looking on the wiki and Ridge Sides wiki, is like, will it, will it spoil the story? Because I don't want that spoiled. Like, I am super, super excited about, um the next episode we're being a we're gonna be able to complete this main quest like that is super super cool and we just got another slime egg like everything is just it's growing up daisy or whatever the phrase is it's amazing is what i'm trying to say right it is after 12 i need to head home i don't want to use the totem because that's my get out of the ridge quick in a hurry because we're nearly dead thing and I didn't need that because we have an awesome weapon. Can anyone tell it that I'm excited about this weapon? Because I don't know if I've made it obvious enough yet. Oh my, I did not look after Sairi today. That is bad. Bad, bad mango. And I didn't even get the goodies out of the fish pond. That is even worse. Oh, right, okay, let's um get inside before 2 p.m. 2 a.m. And sleep. So we leveled up. Oh, we have the slime incubator now. This is amazing. And my favorite ammo, the explosive ammo. Oh, yes, plus five HP, which let's face it, I need that. And there we go, guys. On a rainy morning, this is where I'm going to be ending today's episode. I do hope you enjoyed today's. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. It really does help out the channel. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Bubble Club. I, I, it, it's the most awesome thing, I think. I genuinely do. Um, I'm very, very glad I bought it because, oh, the ridge is fun. It's not hellscape. It's actually fun up there. Um, so I'm going to look forward to going back up there. I am gutted that I can't go and hand in those items in today's episode. But we'll do that in tomorrow's episode. We will complete the... What quest is this? The preparations. We'll be completing the preparations quest in the next episode. But thanks ever so much for all the stuff that you guys do. Liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, all of that amazing stuff. And of course, a very, very special thank you to my wonderful Patreons. Their names are scrolling across the screen as I speak. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.